Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create your own countdown timer in your Squarespace website. A quick introduction before we get started. My name is Becca Harpain. I'm a Squarespace designer, Squarespace Circle member, a self-professed CSS super nerd, and the founder of InsideTheSquare.co, a resource on all things custom code used by Squarespacers around the world. Now, I say this word a lot, so I need to mention this. The term Squarespace is a trademark of Squarespace Incorporated. This content is not affiliated with Squarespace Incorporated. All righty, now that that stuff's out of the way, let's talk about your countdown timers. I actually have two different ones I'm going to show you today. Let's hop into my demo site and take a look. The demo site I'm using today is a Squarespace 7.1 template, but this code can work in any version of Squarespace 7 or 7.1 because we're using an on-page code block. I'll show you how to add this to any page in your Squarespace website by selecting Edit. No matter what version of Squarespace you're using, we all have the ability to add an on-page code block when you see this little droplet for your page content. Select that droplet and type in the text code so you can add an on-page code block. Now, both of the codes that we're going to be going over today are available for free in my Countdown Timer Codes Cheat Sheet. You can grab your copy at insidethesquare.co forward slash countdown. Again, that's free, and it'll have both of these codes for you to copy and paste. Once you download that cheat sheet, it's going to look like this. Scroll down to the second page, and we'll start with the single line timer. I'm just going to copy and paste this right out of the cheat sheet, and we'll talk about what parts you need to change. I'm going to paste that code right here into my site, and let's go ahead and highlight these. The first thing we're going to want to change is the date. Set this to match whatever date and time you would like to display or you would like to count down to, I should say. And then if we scroll down here just a little bit, we have one sentence that says, hint, change this to whatever you want to say when the timer's, timer is up. It's a pretty good idea. You should change that. You can say whatever you'd like here. This is what's going to display when the timer is done counting down. Those are the only two parts of this that you need to change. You can go ahead and select apply and select save. Now you'll notice right away, we don't see anything on our website. This is an embedded script, and we're not going to see it in the site editor. So we have to open up an incognito tab to see what this looks like. After my site loads, you can see here at the very bottom, we've got the countdown timer going. This is what we've just created. So that's how you create the single line one. Don't forget to change those two parts of the code. I have them highlighted here in your cheat sheet. This sentence right here, you can change to whatever you want to display when the timer is up. And this right here, you should change to the date and time that you're counting down to. Now, our second code is for the double line timer. This is actually going to put the labels on a separate line than the numbers. So I'm going to copy this and we'll head back into our site. We're going to use an on page code block again. I'll go ahead and delete this so you can see how I added it one more time. If you just hover over the page that you're editing again in Squarespace 7 or 7.1, any version of Squarespace, click on the little add content droplet. Now you can search in the content blocks for code because that's what we're working with. I'm going to drag this to the center of the page so you can see. I'm just going to paste my code right there. Now before I select apply, we're going to want to change two things here. We're definitely going to want to change the date and time that we're counting down to right here. And then we have one other option to change the actual color that's being displayed. I put these little color blocks behind the countdown timer itself. So you can go ahead and change that by editing this hex code right here. And just like in the last one, I've gone ahead and highlighted those two sections here for you. I also highlighted the font color. So change that hex color code if you'd like to make it match your website. When you're all done with that, select apply. And again, we're not going to see the actual countdown timer working because we can't see a script in the site editor itself. I'll go ahead and select save and we'll check out that incognito tab to see what it looks like. I'll hit refresh on my incognito tab here. And now you can see we have our second timer counting down. So again, both of these codes are available in the cheat sheet that I've made for you. You can grab your copy at insidethesquare.co forward slash countdown. And if you liked this tutorial, be sure to subscribe because I post a new one every week. Thanks so much for watching and have fun with your Squarespace website.